EVGA has finally confirmed the main cause behind its GeForce RTX 3090 graphics cards getting damaged and it's related to their PCB design. Back in July, several users playing Amazon's latest MMO called New World started to report that their brand new cards were dying while playing the game. All it took was to boot the game and play for a few minutes and the card would end up permanently damaged. This led to major RMAs and an initial investigation showing that the problem could be a bad PMW fan controller, which led to abnormal functions. The New World's developers had to issue a quick frame rate cap to mitigate the problem, but it looks like the problem was a poor design flaw from the start. In a recent interview with PC World's Gordon Maung, it is reported that the issue occurred with the initial batch of the EVGA GeForce RTX 3090 graphics cards, which were produced in 2020. All of the cards manufactured prior to 2020 21 featured bad soldering around the card's MOSFET circuit, and that is the main culprit. Sure, a bad fan controller, if there ever really was one, could have also added to the damage of the card, but if one MOSFET goes, then your card is pretty much a bust. It took EVGA around two months to figure this out. It just shows the state of quality control over at EVGA, where the company failed to discover this major design flaw firsthand back in 2020 and let them ship to the retail segment. This means that when EVGA changed things with the 2021 batch, they could have known the issue, but since it was only Amazon's new world that caused the cards to go pop, the company silently waited off until the damage was done. The rep didn't comment on any sales figures, but it is reported that the total batch was less than 1% of the RTX 30 series supplies. During a global GPU shortage that has many gamers waiting outside of Best Buys for nights at a time just to try and get a chance for an RTX 30 series cards, mistakes like these shouldn't be happening and then shouldn't be ignored by EVGA just to save face if that is what happened. But what do you think? Is it fair that EVGA potentially waited until after the damage was done to say that their soldering issue could have caused some dead GPUs? Let us know in the comments down below. Go check out these awesome videos for more tech news and don't forget to subscribe.